<sighs> Damn, Q. Maybe you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! Everybody podcast episode 140. Got a special guest in the building. We got I'm gonna start with mother, uh, singer, songwriter. She don't know she podcast host. Period. And you be getting your little cook on too. So we can, let's call you a chef. You. You, you, you went in the right order. For the sure. right order for sure. We got Tori Sky in the building. What's good with you? What's up? How, how you feeling? I'm feeling good. I've been in a zone. Yeah. I've been focused, so yeah. Mm-hmm. This is just all in divine timing, you feel me? Like, gotta be, gotta be. Focus I got, sure. I got some shit to talk about. You Hell yeah, well, shit, we gonna talk about it. But let's start with salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away, give them their flowers instead of you know giving them to them while they can still smell them. But it can't be the normal answer. It can't be mom, pops, okay. kids. Okay. It can't be Craig if you messing with Craig. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It gotta be somebody outside that that easy answer. So you got somebody you want to give some flowers to? Yes, most definitely. My flowers will always be to the great, great, great Quest McCody. Okay, for sure. Um, he's a battle rapper from the city, oh, but yeah. you know, me and him met on a personal level, just passing through life. Um, I worked with him probably for about two and a half, maybe three years. Mm-hmm. We never did no music shit. Mm-hmm. Never did nothing. Soon as we stopped working together, we did my first project, yeah. and I've been recording with him ever since. And so, so you comfortable? Yeah, that's my yeah. man. That's yeah. that's family. That's when I make it, he make it. So have you ever uh, worked with anybody else in the studio or just him? Uh, no, I definitely have. Um, so I work with him. I also work at thirty five twenty five. Okay, with, for sure. Uh, Renzo mixed it. Mm-hmm. Hicks, um, dope. I only like to fuck with, but fuck with me. For sure, so for sure. If you fuck with me, I fuck with you. That's funny. That's that's how I first found out who you was. You was on um that Monday shit that DJ used to be uh putting on. On Instagram New Live. New Music Mondays. Yep, yep, yep. You had your little son on the, on, the, on the live and shit. Oh, that's the one you caught. I, saw, I caught both of them. So, <laughs> yes. yeah, but that was, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I saw you and they was giving you love and stuff. I'm like, damn, she can, she can sing for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do love. I, I, I felt a little soulness come out your motherfucking lungs. Thank you. you. <laughs> but, yes. But no, it's 2022. Oh, yeah, by the way, I ain't going to write a shout out, man. I, I, I ran out of people. Shout out to everybody who working and shit, man. If you're doing a good job, you being a parent, man. I understand why my mom was so mad during the, during the holidays now. Cause it's cold and you broke and you trying to get some kids some some toys. That shit had you stressed, boy. Okay, stress out. No, for real, for real. You gotta, yeah, you gotta yeah. prepare for that. For sure. But how your year been so far? It's it's almost over with. Like, what's some ups, some downs? Like, what's been going on with you? Um, year is definitely going as expected. Okay. You are definitely what you speak into the universe. You feel me? So mm-hmm. I spoke in that twenty twenty two was gonna be me mm-hmm. stepping into my bag, stepping into my art, stepping into myself more mm-hmm. than ever before so it's definitely been that like you said ups and downs Mm -hmm. um i deal with anxiety i deal with seasonal depression Mm -hmm. i deal with just being a battle to myself you feel me so working through that Mm -hmm. while being an artist while trying to chase your dreams while being a mother Mother, while it's like sometimes you just got to stand still so the first time ever probably from may Mm -hmm. to Really recently, like I just stayed to myself. Yeah. I sat with my thoughts. I sat with my son, and mm. now I'm ready to pop back out. Is that, is that is that is that how you cope with like you know what I'm saying those things, depression, anxiety? Like you got to be alone to yourself, your own thoughts to get your shit right. So before, I was always stay busy. Mm. Like I make myself stay busy. I thought that was what helped me cope. Mm. But through learning myself i learned that i was just covering up shit no, i was sure. just yeah. like music is therapy for me but if i only have music yeah. and i don't know how to tap in with myself i don't really have much else to offer myself yeah, besides sure. that so yeah. definitely sitting with myself for the first time was mm-hmm. like yeah. you know you'd be like shit yeah. is this hard yeah no for like, sure like, yeah. Like, i see why i'm going yeah. you feel me like me maybe i should go back out but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sitting with myself has taught me balance it's taught me how I feel in this yeah, world, not yeah. how the world makes me feel. You feel what I'm saying? So for sure, for sure. Do you uh ever like you know what I'm saying think about therapy or have you been in therapy or do you feel like 
that shit won't work. Like, you can do it on your own. So, I was in therapy when I was 13, 14. Mm. Um, and I always speak out to the fact that I was molested mm. when I was 13, 14. Um, okay. God gave it to somebody who could handle it. God yeah. gave it to somebody who could heal from that. Mm. Um, but therapy wasn't for me. Yeah. You yeah. feel me? Like, this is healing. Yeah, just be able to A talk real about genuine it. conversation that yeah. happens throughout life is what's healing for me. It's not sitting... And maybe I should. You feel me? Say, I'm not down to not try it. Yeah, because you were saying but, 13, 14. You think it'd be a little different now that you older, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, probably. And definitely young. having a black therapist, probably. Oh, no, I didn't have that. a black therapist. So oh, I yeah. think that, yeah, that's all you know, it's definitely different. But I'm pro therapy, mm -hmm. but also pro self. Like, you have to learn how to heal yourself as well. No, for sure. Is it okay if I touch on what you said, molested young age? Yeah. Like, was it, was it, was that family or was it somebody, somebody you trusted? Yeah. You, hey, it's that's, that's usually, that's usually how I go, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but it teach you boundaries. It teach yeah. you that you can trust people because I don't put that on nobody. I've never mm -hmm. put that on no man that I've been with, talked to, or mm -hmm. even friended. Yeah. But it teaches you to pay attention to your surroundings and sure. silence, you know. What, was it something that it was something that you came out immediately and told like maybe your parents or whatever, or you kept it in because you were too embarrassed, maybe thought it was your fault? You know how sometimes so, as a little one, you, you, you blame yourself, especially a young yeah. woman. Yeah, most definitely. So my story is just like a little crazy. Mm -hmm. Um. And I won't go too deep into it, but know, as, you know, as it's happening, mm. I ain't no whole ass nigga. <laughs> you got to put that in there. <laughs> I ain't no whole ass nigga, you feel me? So yeah. at the end of the day, I did what I had to. For sure. Um, in the moment, my peoples wasn't there who I needed at the moment. Mm. But as soon as they got there, yeah. it's time to go. I got to talk to you. Yeah, for sure. And we left. I let them know what happened. And... I ain't seen that person ever since, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. And that's just, I, I move with logic, not emotion. Yeah, so for sure. from that standpoint, I couldn't in that moment, oh my God, this happened to me. Like, yeah. I had to act accordingly. Yeah. But it, it's, it's good that you said something because a lot of times when that's going on, you be too embarrassed to say something. Oh yeah, Male most or female, definitely. You know what I'm saying? And okay. even still, it's not that it's embarrassing, but I'm still very careful with who I have a conversation with. No, for because sure. when you... I've ran into males who I can't have that conversation with mm -hmm. because their viewpoint is just so different that yeah. I don't want to lose respect for you. So let's for just sure. end, end the conversation. No. Now, let me ask you, do that kind of mess up maybe relationships or something like that? Like, in the, they, they hurt you in the, in the future, in the long run? Like, going through that, not you maybe not e think, even trust people after that. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think that it. I have submissive issues, maybe. Mm -hmm. You feel I'm, me? Yeah. Like, when it comes to being led. Just mm. in general. I'm mm. not even going to say in a relationship. When it comes to being led, I trust myself before anything. Yeah. So I think that sometimes that's something I got to let go of. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Most definitely. Because yeah, I know when Coco was on the show, she had uh, spoken that being molested and that when she messed with a guy, she kind of like tell him off rip like certain things not to do to her. Like in a yeah. sexual so encounter. So it's, it's not like that for okay. me. Like, okay. I don't think it has. But I think it's also because of how I stood and no disrespect to anybody else's story mm -hmm. but how i stood on on myself and on my life yeah. i can't I, I did what i was supposed to do for sure you feel no, me and i gotta yeah. move on like yeah. it ain't to put that on somebody else or my love life or mm -hmm. my sex life it's just i'm giving that nigga too much power yeah for sure you feel no, me you like you he don't even get to have that much hell yeah <laughs> man hell yeah it's it's crazy because like we was having a conversation i coach basketball and um you know i just see a conversation like I'm not going to say it's go hand in hand, but I see a lot of conversations that older guys have with these young girls that I just don't even feel right. So if it get down to, you know, saying something even deeper than that, that shit, that shit just crazy. And I've had I've had my instances of talking to older men being younger mm -hmm. and yeah. I don't get it. Now that yeah. I'm grown, like, no, I don't you, get it. Yeah, I don't but, really understand. Yeah, back then, you're not even thinking about, yeah, the, you know, saying the whole different. shit. It's yeah, different. And especially with me being how I am, I'm very, like, who you talking to now is who, not who I was, yeah. but hence, is, you know what I'm saying? Hence of who I am. So sure. I've always been able to, I can talk to an older man. I can talk mm -hmm. to whatever, but still, like, yeah. you were yeah. supposed to have a little bit of, you know. Yeah, for sure. Like, that you shit Because, yeah. you know, when you were in middle school, I remember being in middle school or in high school, you see, like, the older dude come pick up the little girl. You're like, damn, whole ass nigga. Like, like what? <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, man. But I'm glad you spoke on a little bit because you never know who watch. Who may be holding that stuff in right now is too afraid to even come out and tell their mom and dad what's going on. Nah, you know what facts. I'm saying? And and it's all, you know, and this is what I am gonna say just while we are speaking on a serious topic. Mm -hmm. Um, it's never okay. No. Nah. It's never okay. Yeah. Like when you got like a two year difference that like mm -hmm. but when it comes to like like clearly a age difference, yeah, yeah, when that's good. not okay because whether you are female or a male, mm -hmm. 
y'all just at such different places in yeah, life that, sure. that that shit is not fair. For it's sure. not fair for you to make me love you. Like, yeah. nah, nigga. Mm-hmm. You know? Like I said, yeah. I ain't seen a lot. Like, you know, growing up, be like, damn, like, nigga, that's kind of like, you like six years younger, nigga. Nigga, like, you, so, you okay, driving, so I got a question for you. You saying something? What, with me? Yeah, like, you, your man's... Oh, I think so. With it. No, 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 oh, no, no my not like that. Oh, if your ahead. man's fuck with somebody that's younger, yeah. and you know, like, this mm-hmm. kind of hints on the R. Kelly shit, it's yeah. kind of, oh, no. like, are you saying something to him? Yeah. Or... And I'm pulling you to the side, I'm checking you. Like, nigga, okay. what the what fuck, are you, what you doing, bro? Yeah, like, you got to. Nigga, and I feel crazy? like, now, and I'm not saying that maybe we going too deep, but maybe not. Like, uh-huh. I feel like... You don't put involve yourself legally, mm-hmm. you feel me? But you are supposed to tell your man's like nigga, you but fucking then, up. When do it you c- can't enter you can't enter time with they entertainment. Yeah. You no. can't be in the same room while he got shouty to the side. Yeah. Like that's weird. But then when do it become that you get involved with the you know, with the law? When when you see some shit like, cause you know, you know, you see some shit that ain't supposed to be going on, but he's not taking your word, he's not listening to you, he's not stopping, but you still know what's going on. I then feel what like you do. That's everybody conscience. You yeah. feel me? Like what I would do in a situation I can't answer I might in that your situation. Ass. You feel me? Some <laughs> shit, it sure. may not be the law. This it may the... not be the law. Yeah. But it's for sure gonna be something like that shit not about to just keep happening though. Like, like I can speak I'm not gonna I'll probably talk to baby girl as a female since I'm me. I'll probably yeah. talk to baby girl, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, no, for sure. For sure. Cause I was just like I seen some I told my um my producer who also my uncle or whatever, I ain't gonna you know what I'm saying, of course I ain't gonna name them names, but I seen dudes try to get on like like texting girls to put them on like aunties or you know what I'm saying stuff like that. Like bro, you grown ass man. Why, nigga, you shouldn't be going through her to get to him to to, to this. No, nah, it's weird shit going on. Like, but at the end of the day, like the motto that I'm living on right now is average is average, different is different. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like I can't understand an average person mindset for sure. Cause I that's not me. I can't understand the crazy niggas out here. I can't yeah. understand that shit because that's not me. And I I don't gotta. Yeah. I don't have no want to Because I don't yeah. want to tap in today. You feel what I'm saying I'm definitely telling my brother Or my cousin Or my homie Like dog She too young bro Say that shit like, nigga, Stay away from me with that shit cause Say I that shit <laughs> Nigga cause you go, Now you got me in this bitch Looking stupid Nigga we all out with her And I'm looking stupid as hell I'm, I'm just as guilty oh, as no, you I ain't no going out with that shit Yeah I'm straight yeah, yeah. So now you date now like Like how You date older guys um, Would you date older guy I would date an older guy But when we say older though, like I'm 25, yeah. the oldest I'll probably go is like 32. Okay, okay. Like okay. I feel like that's, that's, I feel yeah. like I feel like after that, I don't know. I don't want you to take like I'm yeah. I'm young. You feel me? You like you don't want Cletus coming out there with the keys and you shit. You feel me? It's never about <laughs> it's never about money for me. It's never for about sure. none of that. So it's like older men they do have more money yeah, yeah, like yeah. just facts the niggas just a little bit more established but for sure for sure i'm establishing myself so i really don't yeah, need that shit yeah, you feel me yeah i wasn't even expecting the conversation to go this way but you is a podcast host and we definitely gonna get to why you stopped the podcast but yes yes we're gonna, we gonna talk about it we're gonna yeah, talk about for sure. it but uh <laughs> thanksgiving about to come around is around the corner give me something that you gotta have or something that you don't care for damn isn't that food wise yep something that you gotta have on your plate and something that you like man you know what keep that shit at the crib First of all, I got to have my auntie candy yams. Like, okay. I can say candy yams, but that's yeah. disrespectful. Yeah. It got to be my auntie candy yams. For like, sure. without that, that's not Thanksgiving. Yeah, what's some shit that you got? You got to leave that shit off the, off that, the menu. That cranberry shit. <laughs> Damn, I, wanna throw, I don't I wanna understand throw. why people what? be so ready. Like, that shit is not that good. It's not good at all. Oh my God, I want to throw this mic at you. Listen, <laughs> what you don't understand is... I'll bring my own personal can of cranberry sauce to your house. What? If you invite me to your house, I'm bringing my what own. What does it do for you? It's, it made that cranberry, it made that dressing just go over the top. So it's just for the dressing? Just for the dressing. Just for the dressing. They be stacking that shit up like yes. it's a cake for the dressing? I stack it. Like sometimes it be more dre- it more cranberry sauce than damn near dressing. That's nasty. Yeah. I'm bringing my own fucking cranberry sauce to your crib. That's nasty. Like I messed up some drawers one time on... Thanksgiving or Christmas, got walked to the gas station to go get some cranberry sauce. Got it. Not you. Wow, it's that deep. Yeah, it's that deep. Hell it's yeah. It's that deep. Hell yeah. I don't want no gravy. I want motherfucking cranberry sauce. Oh, you sauce. tripping. Not no. you don't need no gravy, no. but you need cranberry no. sauce? No. Yes. Yes. That's that's a must. No. That's a must. I'm sorry. Nah. 
No, nah, we just gonna have to disagree yeah, on that it's one. Okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay because like, the cranberry sauce is the no. Like cranberry sauce is right next to meatloaf for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I know for sure if I'm invited to your jug, I gotta bring a couple cans over because you got that gravy on. I throw that gravy out in the garbage. Like what? It's not happening. All right, 2023. Mm-hmm. That's coming up. You know, what I'm saying what's some goals you want to accomplish next year? Or, you know, what I'm saying you want to obtain and achieve. So trying to at least have a release date for mm-hmm. my album, like that's gonna happen. Yeah. But it's a go. I gotta make it a go because I've been working on my album for about a year. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm probably I'm more than halfway finished, but I'm ready to just this season of my life. I want it to be about this season of my life. So the longer I push it out, the more it's gonna kind of intertwine. For sure. Um, so that's number one. Mm-hmm. Get a date for my album. Okay. Um. I want to keep doing shows. Like sure. yeah, a lot yeah. of people don't know that live in person is me. Like yeah. I love the studio. Yeah, I, I you love saying, making you, music. You, you, you got to get you a band. Yeah, I need I a band. You just so, did a performance with a band. I need a band. For sure. So I need a band. Out here, yeah. So Come I'm actually going to do auditions um, for groups that's already, already together. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to do auditions for instrument single. You feel me? Just yeah, in case. That's dope. Um, but, I need a band. That's dope. That's Me dope. with a band is nice. Uh, yeah. That was dope. So 2023. Yeah, yeah. I need a secure band. Yeah, I know your uh, what your your birthday? What January 22nd? Top January of the year 22nd. and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I do Aquarius my gang. Stuff. Aquarius <laughs> gang. You yeah, feel so me? That's, that's that's already off the rip. You know what I'm saying? You got oh, your yeah. birthday coming up soon as the year approach or whatever. So got any plans? So no plans specifically yet. Mm. But last year I wanted to do a showcase for my birthday. I don't think it's gonna be a showcase. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do unreleased music. Mm-hmm. Purchase your ticket. Yeah. And the fact that you can hear it early yeah. with yeah. no album release date yeah. is a blessing. Hell yeah. yeah. What's some shit that you learned about yourself this year? To be quiet. <laughs> Talk I, too much. You begin messing things up. I just got a lot to say. Okay. And, but in due time. Okay, okay, okay. I had to learn to like hone it in. Yeah. And just speak through my music, mm-hmm. be quiet more, but still speak. You know what I'm saying? So on the same token, that's that's something that you feel that's that's uh, that's holding it, you back that you need to work on. No, nah, I don't let it do that. Not holding me back in that sense. Yeah. Probably more personally mm-hmm. than anything. Okay. But when it comes to like networking and stuff like that, I'm mm-hmm. always constructive. I'm I'm coachable. Yeah. I'm very coachable. So yeah, 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 that's yeah. why I like working with Quest. Like he has helped me develop as an artist because I know how to. Take Listen. T- yeah, yeah, because a lot of people don't want to hear that shit. Hey, I'm not good. Don't don't say shit unless I'm good. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to hear, hey, this shit trash <laughs> right now, Tori. Like, I'm good. You feel me? Like, you need to fix this shit. But, but- we'll take that together. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of people don't understand. Like, I've been singing my whole life, mm-hmm. but I created Tori Sky mm-hmm. after I had my son. Okay. Okay. So, so new you? Knew me. Okay. You feel me? For like sure. I, I had I had some shit to say. Yeah. So my sound, everything, like that's everything is still a step for me. So yeah. this is still new. So, so your, I'm I'm humble. Did your son help you grow as a person? Oh yeah. yeah my like, son my son changed me. Like when yeah. I was pregnant, I had the best pregnancy. For sure. Like why, I had no complaint. Why you say the best? Like what was so, what was so so good about it? I I had no stress. Oh, for real. Like I good? sincerely I had a my pregnancy was easy. Mm-hmm. I ain't had no complications. I didn't have like no scares. Mm-hmm. I didn't. So you, ha- as a mom, you got to appreciate that. Yeah. You got to appreciate that you have a good village. You have to appreciate sure. that you are happy while pregnant. Cause yeah. some people really don't be. How was, uh, how was little man? He is. You said, how old is he? Yeah. Three. Oh, that's four in May. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. yeah. That's my baby. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. No, a lot of times, but when you're a parent, you don't know until you have a kid, like how much things is going to change. Like how my much you got to change? Changed. Yeah, for sure. You my got, whole life changed. I didn't have, I didn't have priorities before mm-hmm. him. Yeah. And now, like I said, I started. Oh, shout out to my hair care business, yeah. Melanin Moisture's. Um, he just gave me a drive that sure. can't nothing yeah, else yeah. give you. If you don't have a drive at that, then you piece of shit. For the most part, like, nah. And for and sure. to toot my son horn. Okay. If you have a son that I have, mm-hmm. and you on, you ain't doing shit. Yeah. He got to know, because he going to make it. He going to be somewhere, somewhere. For sure. And he got to know that he can. So I have to yeah, show him that yeah, you can. I got three kids. I make sure, like, hey, I don't want none of them to be going through no struggles, no nothing. Nothing. Like, for real. Even if we is struggling, I don't even want, I want to be so good that you don't even know we struggling. Like, exactly. Because I knew we were struggling, God damn it. We was <laughs> fucked up. I knew it, too. Like, damn, we, we move a lot. Like, no. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> where we at now, man? Where yeah. we at now? <laughs> like, we, see, when I realized that pizza, 
Nigga, like, that shit was a privilege to get a pizza. Okay. Like, shit, man. We wasn't getting that. Like, nigga, no, fuck that. No, for real. Hell yeah. So, outside your son, though, of course, he motivates you. But what else motivates you outside of your son? Um, Honestly, I think a lot of it is just in my blood. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm motivated. Mm-hmm. But, like, it just come really natural. For like, sure. I could be having a horrible day. Yeah. And I still got shit to do. You yeah. feel me? Like, so I just think that... Shout out to my granny. Rest in peace to her soul. Mm-hmm. Um, she built up an apartment Mm -hmm. and made it a a hair salon. Her Mm -hmm. apartment was over it and she had six kids and did what she had to do. And I got to watch that until literally two days before she passed, she was still doing hair at 78. So to watch that and my aunts and my cousins, they all have that in them too. My cousin has a a first black woman on tattoo uh, shop in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, So we just like, it's it's disrespectful not to tap into what we can tap into. You disrespecting your grandma. Like you said, she working until she on her last couple of days. That's how I feel. My mom, whenever I be, my mom passed away uh, a couple of years, 10 years ago. Sorry about that. Are you good? But when I think about shit she was going through, I'm like, oh man, shut, shut your ass up, nigga. You soft as hell. <laughs> okay. Like, <laughs> like you just can't, you you can't. No, no, for sure, for sure. You can't. But it's good that you like it's good because some people had those those figures in your life to even be somebody you could look up to. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Like I was blessed to have my great grandmother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, so for sure. and they could hell teach yeah. you a lot of shit. I had my great grandma until I was goddamn eighteen. So she, and it is it do something to you like yeah. cause they from a different time exactly so they give you and feed you man so much life even, even through just being that self even the conversations like you just be like damn like you know what i'm saying that i was young crazy. as hell my granny said no boys no babies and yeah. something else it was three b's i forgot yeah. that third b but oh shit my mom my grandma gave me a no s no spaghetti <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> I am not about to play Man, like, yeah, no spaghetti. <laughs> no sauce. Nigga. None. Like, be careful. Especially dog. the sauce. Yeah. <laughs> spaghetti, chili. Like, you got to be careful. Like, damn, that's the first meal you're going to give me? <laughs> Throw that shit. Ah, get out of here. <laughs> get the that fuck is out so here. funny. Don't give me, make me a hamburger. God that's damn hilarious. <laughs> See, not, but that's why it's different. Yeah. I had three, you had one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just the one. <laughs> just that sauce. <laughs> exactly. Now, before I get to you growing up, music and shit, what's the, what's the worst advice and the best advice you received so far as an artist or just a life, a mother, whatever? Um, I'm going to stick with artists. Okay. The worst advice that I have ever received would probably be changing my sound mm-hmm. why, 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 why would they say you that like they, you because you on your neo soul type stuff they want you to be like more poppy, like yeah more... like i've been asked why do you choose the beats that you choose mm-hmm. um i've been asked and it's it's different to be willing to hear growth mm-hmm. like i have you know there you got to listen from two different parts of yourself for sure but to actually change my sounds of yeah. all sounds yeah, yeah. in Hell this no. world you feel me like yeah. of all sounds to change my sound is outrageous it's crazy yeah. Yeah. like my sound is a part of me like mm-hmm. if i'm not doing my sound i'm probably not doing this music yeah shit. no point you know yeah, what i'm saying like, you even being true yourself exactly yeah. so that's probably the worst advice i've ever had because they they were serious like yeah. let me put you on this let me let me yeah, like, nah, like, I'm straight. Nah, like, I'm nah, bro. <laughs> like, if you want me to write you that nah, bro. Like, yeah. uh-uh. and what's the best advice you receive as an artist? Best advice I've ever received. I'm gonna just go back to my flowers. Anything me and Quest talk about yeah, is sure. always a growth moment for me. Like, yeah. that's that's big on you. Yeah. Feel me? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Shout out, shout out to him again. Now, let's, let's talk about you as a young Tory growing up. Like, how was it? Who was in the crib? Siblings, mom, dad. So I have, hold on. Oh yeah, gotta get counting. Cassidy, Lay, Savannah, Montez, Tyone. Okay, (laughs) I got six siblings. Okay, okay. Um, you oldest. I am the third oldest. Okay, so I guess that kind of make me the middle child. Yeah. Um, my oldest brother is like full blood brother, brother, brother. Like that's. That's that's my age. You feel me? We done been yeah. through a lot of shit together. Yeah. Uh, we done seen and went through a lot of shit together. So yeah. that's that's my heart. You yeah. feel me? Um, and then I have again my old my other older brother. He don't play by his shit. Yeah. He protective as fuck, and that's just be. that. That's not supposed to be. But my babies, yeah. my my younger siblings, they just do something different to me. Like, yeah. but we lived in different households, so okay. that's also why I feel like what I do is really important mm-hmm. because. Yeah, they need. They didn't get to see what I went through. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. So we talk about it, but 
they get to understand what I went through through my music. We yeah. talk about what I do, my art, and my sisters are my biggest supporters. For sure, too. for sure, so, for sure. Yeah. So mom, dad, they was rocking, they was together, they was cool, or... No, you they say, was no, 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 you say because you and your oldest They was rocking, but then, yeah, then that shit yeah, tipped yeah, over yeah. real quick. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so um, mom and dad not together. They got oh. a divorce when I was seven. All right. Um, Definitely not, you would, know. Would you hurt like you was young? Like, would you hurt by it? I was just confused. Yeah, yeah. What's going on? I was on? just really confused. Yeah. Um, it wasn't like no clean breakup. It was definitely very yeah, you dramatic, was, yeah. traumatic. You, and, you know, like that's usually how I go. Yeah. Um, but I think that it was what was best for me and my brother at the no, end of the for day. Sure, for sure. Um, and I, my mom is happily remarried and yeah. you know living her life. Yeah. And my dad is happy as well. So at the end of the day, as long as we. No, for sure. Good. That's all oh, that yeah, matters. Yeah. And I got my siblings yeah. through that. So, no. and it's always like I said, it never ends like good. Like it's very rare that you see a relationship end good. Like yeah. I mean, my my dad had wrote my mom like a death threat. Like damn. <laughs> and sent it through me. Like, damn. I didn't even know. It. Like damn. we was all at my granddad's house. He said, "Get to see your mama." I'm like, "Oh, he must wow. he, he must want mom back." Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's really how it be. Yeah, niggas man. do not <laughs> listen. Niggas do not like when they can't get their girl back. Yeah, man, as hell. Cause I remember my granddad. Had, I ain't trying to make it about me. <laughs> no, you good. But my granddad had this um this uh Mark Eight Lincoln Mark Eight. Mm -hmm. It was it was only a two door. So I was he you know I, he let me sit in the front cause I'm you know I think I'm I'm a big dog in the front. He got the back. My mama opened the door. That nigga just put the middle finger up at her. I'm like, well, I don't think this letter probably gonna be too good. I'm like, mom, here. Nah. Wait, he did that right before you gave her the letter? Yeah, like, right. So oh, I gave her a letter. Oh, no, you thought that was a love yeah, letter? Yeah, no. I'm like, yeah. I gave her a letter. I was like, bitch, this, fuck you. I can't believe you left me. Nah, this. he wrote that in the letter while he was right there Man, next to her. This before test messages, so you already know. Nah, like, he was supposed to say that with his chest right then and there. Nah, nah. He Not the got, letter. My Uncle Junior probably would have shot him, though, so. Yeah, so he, he ain't need to do all that. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it was a classic, but yeah, it's off me though. <laughs> that's but that's why I, was, it's just, I just thought about it when I you said it. that everything in kind of crazy in relationships, and they do, they do, they do. They do. Yeah. But I I try to be the opposite. You mm -hmm. feel me? So that's why I'm working on myself For because sure. relationships. I learned a lot. Um, I don't know if you watched the London Lauren interview that uh, she did. With, I heard about it. I ain't watched it. I gotta go ahead and get up on that. It was very um with Angie Martinez. Yeah, yeah. she said something in there. Um, in regards to how we allow our egos to be our relationship. Okay, yeah. And sure. sometimes you have to step back and understand, like, it's phases in life, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And you really will not know a person until they hit their phases. People yeah. are going to change, you know what I'm saying? But if you grab your ego and hold on to that first person mm -hmm. that you encountered with, mm -hmm. y'all going to always have problems. No, for because sure. you want them to be who they used to be, but you got to learn to yeah. grow with somebody. Exactly. So, she, again, while being in silence and being to myself, just watching interviews, mm -hmm. just watching people that's gone through shit yeah, yeah. and, you know, hearing how they got through their shit, like, that's very, that's my therapy no, as well, sure. you know? For sure, for sure. I'm, I'm an interview person, too. I love watching interviews and documentaries and stuff like that. So yeah. Angie Martinez is the truth, too. Yeah, I, she, I really like how, yeah. Yeah, yeah I love Angie, Angie she, man. Shout out to Angie. Give me on the show one day, Angie. Okay. <laughs> me, me, too. Me, yeah. too. <laughs> now, um, you, you being a youngin', who were some people that you was liking music wise based off your mom and your pops before you even had your own ear for music? Who were some of them artists that you was loving? First C D my dad ever got me was Alicia Keys. Okay. So yeah. off rip. That was the first time I as a child remember hearing music mm -hmm. and being to myself like yeah. this like made this me feel dope. good. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? Like this made me feel good. Um, Erica Badu. Okay. You feel me? Um, now I'm seeing where your sound coming from. Like, why you, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Erica Badu, she's yeah. Lauren Hill. Yeah, for sure. Um, Usher, man, Confessions yeah. was crazy. Yeah. I was young as fuck when that came out. Probably but one of the best albums yeah. ever put together as far as one of them. Confessions was wild. Um, I probably, and Michael Jackson, of okay. course. Yeah, Michael you Jackson. Never, yeah, yeah. yeah, you can't can't like, forget Michael. Like my little son's six, and he be watching. You just why I, I could show you video. Watching a thriller video yesterday. That's like, how it's supposed to go, though, because yeah. that's when you know you did your job. Like, for sure. my sister, she loves New Edition. Like, yeah. and she only 10. She mm. know every song, every yeah. lyric. She know every dance from mm. their videos. Mm -hmm. Like, but that's how you're supposed to be. That's what I... For sure. I got to be. You feel yeah. me? Now, once you got your own ear for music, who was those artists you was rocking with in your high school years? And you like, I love this person. I love that person. A lot of people don't, uh, wouldn't guess that Tink has a lot of inspiration on me. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Tink, Tink is like, that was when I started doing covers. That mm -hmm. was when I started playing with my sound and didn't know it. Mm -hmm. Like, Tink is, Tink, man. Yeah, no, she dope. Man. Her she cadences, definitely... her tone. 
everything. She like she's a big inspiration one. for sure. Yeah, for sure. And who else? Tink. That's really probably it. Yeah. Day twenty six. I was doing a lot <laughs> of you know making a band, up. watching that type hey, of stuff. Really classic. inspired me. You know what I'm saying? Like them niggas in there uh, scrapping. Uh, what's them niggas? Uh, that nigga ain't he ain't fat no more. Mike. Yeah, Mike. I, no, I, yeah. Mike. Mike. You, to Brian. me, he was the, he was the, co- he was the coldest <laughs> Rob one. Will, like, he was the coldest one. No, he was. To me, he was. Yeah, Rob. Yeah. Rob is Rob. I don't know. He's a little weird. So, uh, <laughs> uh, fact check real quick. When I was coming up on um, Vine, okay, I posted a video singing, and Brian from Day Twenty Six commented on my video and said, "You gonna make it one day." Yeah, that's the, and that's the one with the braids, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the yeah, one yeah. when that moment happened yeah, at the crib, he started sure. singing. Yeah, like, oh yeah, when they were battling. Yeah, that yeah was, exactly. That was... <laughs> so that was <laughs> fire. I never forget. Singing, dog. I'll never forget. That God was damn. that was fire for me. So one day I'm gonna sing with. One of them or all of them? Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, we're going to make that happen. Hell you know? yeah. Rob, he said he was going to get on the show, but then he was going to charge me, so I said, never mind. Uh, <laughs> like, you feel me? Like, I'm cool, Shit, bro. I don't want to pay nobody. Because they ain't released music in a yeah. long time. Like, I fuck with them. Yeah, and I'm but, so cheap. I'm going to be mad that I paid you, and I got to do research now. Like, I know you, but now I got to... Like, is this nigga lying? Yeah, like, man, I'm good. I'm about to pay this nigga, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I am not about to play with you. Give me a give me a CD that you embarrassed about that you still love and play. Like my shit was Ray J Radiation. <laughs> that shit was hard. I don't give. I advise everybody go back and, and listen no. to that shit. Dog. Blue High Heels. No. Was a horror song. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh-uh. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, I don't really think I have none. I really yeah. only fuck with good music for real. For real. Yeah. So I wouldn't yeah, even. Damn that. <laughs> I wouldn't even tell myself yeah. like. You know, you never had no phase. You just listen to a bad, like some bad music. Like <laughs> somebody probably had to tell me it was bad. Yeah. I'm not gonna think it was bad. Like, yeah. see, I thought it was good I too. Stand, I stand on my shit, and yeah. I just be vibing so heavy. Like that like, shit was probably. I was listening. To Russ ain't heavy. Rich boy, remember throw some D's on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. That's the, oh, but that's okay though. Yeah. That's not embarrassing. You better but, blast that bitch. Baby boy, the prince. See, you probably know about nah, him. Yeah, see, yeah, see, I knew he was going to get to this part of the interview. Yeah, I man. knew it. <laughs> yeah. But see, I see you rock with Puck, huh? Because yeah. I know you did. You know, what's saying? You saying how you wish you could do a song with him? Yeah. yeah. You really fuck with me. I pay attention. Come on, I now. love it. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. I'm going to give you your flowers for, for fucking sure, with me for how sure. you fuck with me. Thank you for the blessings. Um, but yes, I fuck <laughs> with Puck. And I actually wore this shirt for a reason. Um, Everybody got their own views. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But... Something that Ye said on his Drink Champs interview, he said, so "Be careful." Um, <laughs> he said that, but he spoke on how he is a voice of pop. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And not a li- real voice, but if you if you know, then yeah, you know, like for sure. Pac is Pac, and he spoke on what the fuck he spoke on, and he stood on it. Yeah, I am wearing him to represent that I stand on myself. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I for stand sure. on. Throughout all the shit that go on in this crazy ass world, like my viewpoints and everything that I am, mm. I feel like we represent no, for sure. each other kind of sure. similarly. And Pop was live, he definitely would stop rapping on you because y'all niggas trash. He would have got into his whole little civil you rights activist type he of thing. He would have on some different levels. So yeah, he would have been done with this rap shit. I fuck with Pac as a person past his his music. Like I yeah. fuck with what he's doing. No, for sure. Up. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And he was a true definition for Gemini. Gemini. You feel, oh, that, that for sure. Be, for the sure. Hoes, this, 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 <laughs> hey, we love, but see, it's a difference though. Black women, hoes. So, you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> it's a difference. So you can't really say like, oh, he being a hypocrite, this, that, and third. No, it's a, it's a difference. But no, I, I wish he, like people like him, then that's when you see it tr- trickle down to Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? He a baby from him. Most definitely. Uh, rest in peace, Nip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Cole, like, I was just about to say J. Cole. They come from that umbrella. You know what I'm saying? Some people down here don't even rock with those rappers and shit. Which is crazy. <laughs> which is, it's just really wrong. It's just us two on the show, though. But, you know. But, you know, <laughs> that's crazy. You can't not. No, that's all good. That's all good. <laughs> well, give me the last time you cried and what was the reason? Mm. We jumped from Tupac to crying. Mm. Damn. Yeah. All right, you're going to put me out there like that? Yeah, that's, that's, that's how it be. Yeah, I probably, what, it was a couple so, days ago. A couple days ago. Um... I don't like when people test my gangster. Mm-hmm. And not on no gangster shit, just coming down to everything that I stand on, yeah. every, anything that I love mm-hmm. or that I logically came from a standpoint from. Mm-hmm. Once you test that, my tears come from the fact that I try to be a good person. Yeah. I try not to say hurtful shit. I try not to yeah. be yeah. an ass. But so then, I just be like, fuck. Yeah, for I just sure. want to cry yeah. because like 
you're fucking with me. <laughs> you're fucking so, with me. So somebody test you for real. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not even gonna say for real. Yeah. I just really I'm either angry or sad. Like okay. in the sense of if you pissing me off, like for sure. and the sad part only lasts yeah. for two seconds. So yeah. I just boom. You you ain't one of the ones who just like you quit to throw some blows, huh? Oh no. Okay, nah. okay, 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 okay. No, nah, not quick to throw no blows. Let me step back um, a little bit. Yeah, not not that. Especially yeah. I'm very big on you hit a man. Yeah. You feel me? Like yeah. so I'm not because no, for sure, for sure, for sure. I don't for believe sure. in that. You feel sure. me? Yeah, I tell my, my son he's sixteen, man. If you ever feel like that, nigga run. Just run. You gotta go. Like, then why didn't they run for? Because because <laughs> as you learn full sprint, nigga. as you learn being angry is very uncontrollable. It is. So you do gotta have your moments where you tell yourself what you're gonna do in a certain situation because if you don't, yeah. you don't know what you're gonna do in that situation. Because yeah, those was, I was in some toxic relationships, man. We were somebody before you came in, like I ain't punched a couple walls, like but I ain't punched nobody. Uh -huh, yeah. Just the no, walls. trust me. I, like, I got like, stories. They just man, uh, you asked me a specific question. Did I ever hit? Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? So no. Nah. Oh, you got stories. Okay. So um, you mentioned that you have a son. Mm -hmm. So of course you single. So mm -hmm. what what's up with what happened with you and the father? Just I just you know I had to piggyback yeah. on you saying you got stories. So so honestly, my story is probably before him. Like when it's since of what I where I was just going. Okay. Um, but just i have to take it on to me mm. needing growth okay mean i at this point in my life i'm so focused on my art and my artistry mm. and being a good mom and being a good person to myself that i had to focus on that For sure. and i had to tell myself that i had to focus on that so back then um, it was just like what you mean like relationship wise like would you, it was just like you you wasn't as let me see mature maybe I thought I was more mature than I was. Okay, yeah. So, you know, we see these movies, we see these shows. Oh, mm -hmm. my gosh. Like, this is life. And then yeah. life hits you. Like, I was 21 when I had my son. No, you feel sure. me? I so, I didn't young, really yeah. understand life the way that I do now. Yeah. So, now, again, I got I to gotta figure that out for okay. me, you know? So, what happened with y'all two? You beat around that didn't you? I definitely beat <laughs> I around it. I grew. I definitely beat around it. <laughs> I was young. <laughs> Um, Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I don't really, I don't really have a a like specific answer besides like I just ready. gotta, I gotta focus on me. Okay, okay. Now, I gotta focus on this me. This the last, cause I, I don't, I'm not no chatty patty gossipy uh -huh. Vlad nigga. Like, is he around for his son? Yeah. Okay, okay, cool, cool. He, he Thank you, brother. Thank son. you, dog. You ain't doing. And you know, I will always, and I, that's why I answer how I answer. You feel no, me? Because sure, respect, it's always I'll gonna be respect. No, for sure. My and, son, young, you feel me? And yeah. this is gonna be—I'm I'm making it. So no, this is gonna be something that you know somebody else sees. And at the end of the day, no, the same way I stand on myself, I stand on my family. And I family. applaud you for that because it's, it's easy to bash somebody because of your your feelings, your your personal feelings toward that person. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And people are and like I said, if he if he a dude that's take care of his kid, hey, he doing the right thing as far as that. Ain't no point exactly. bashing him. Like whatever issues y'all got, y'all had, y'all done is cool. Period. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I Cause got. Because I got my my first son is with high school girlfriend and stuff like that, but. I never said not one bad word about her towards him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Unless unless you have canceled yourself out of my life yeah. because you've been that disrespectful exactly. yeah. to me or my son. No, that's a different I'm thing. I'm always, it's all love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because your son, love. he want to rock with you or him the way he want to rock. You know exactly. what I'm saying? He figure things out on his own or exactly. whatever. So. Exactly, exactly. Hey, I hate I hate when people just be, fuck him, fuck her. Like, man, shut up. Y'all niggas still love each other. That's why. <laughs> Fuck yeah, like fuck you here. just you just it's just not and it's not even worth it you feel me like no. i'm very cautious with a lot that i do because i do know where i want to go and where i am going mm. so you feel yeah me? that's a good way we, we, we talk about a lot of shit we, you yeah. know what I'm saying got to our personal bag you know you what I'm saying? Me? just a little bit just a little <laughs> yeah, bit but let's get, let's get to what you know what I'm saying because i don't like just going straight to music all the time because i hate when i watch interviews and be like so when did you start doing music like damn niggas five <laughs> seconds in <laughs> Like, cause when I, right, because now your listeners understand yeah, who I am. Exactly, exactly. And the people that's watching for me, shout out to my people on my live. Yeah. They understand who you are. You feel when me? I watch, like, Drink Champs or when I watch, like, Breakfast Club, I like I like to know who the person is then the music. Because then exactly. it's going to make you want to buy into the music if exactly. they're a dope person. If you made it here. Yeah, for sure. You for made sure. it. We're getting somewhere. Man, and you're on the best podcast in the city. So you feel me? Dude, Let's man. go. You feel me? So, you don't say fuck them other ones, <laughs> nigga, for real. Literally. <laughs> but uh, when did music become, like, serious in your life that you wanted to be like, this something that I want to do long term and for real? Um, Honestly, shout out to my baby daddy. Okay. You feel me? Shout out um, to Craig. <laughs> shout out to Craig. <laughs> um, I had started a new job right. and 
me and his brother was working together. Okay. And through that, um, he does music as well. Mm. And um sorry about that. Nah, nah, no, nah, you good, you good, you good. <laughs> um, you see I'm playing it off yeah. though. You see. <laughs> I'm <in> this. <laughs> 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 but no, nah, um me and him wrote a song together. Okay. We would, after work, we'll work on music, work on music. And this is this and is his brother. This is the brother. Okay. Yeah. So they helped me build that first confidence because my relationship before that was very, very toxic, was very, very mm -hmm. um, mentally abusing. Um, so they helped me build from that shit. And from mm -hmm. there, that was when it really started for real. Because yeah. just to see their reaction to my voice, I didn't have yeah. that because the person before that wanted to go everywhere with me hand yeah. in hand. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So I wasn't able to see like my own individuality. Mm -hmm. So them believing in me made me believe in myself and in turn yeah you be needing that though you need somebody yeah. to believe in you even if you dope you need that person to kind of like just give you that motherfucking recognition like exactly. you know what I'm saying you, or just give you that you know what I'm saying that push like you know you doing you doing your shit like exactly. keep going and shit cuz you never know like I said until somebody kind of like give you that clarity like he tell me all the time like oh this shit dope like I'm like or he tell me when he definitely tell me when some shit trash. Oh, you got like, to. You need, you, those, gotta, you, you, you need those. You got to. But you need those need them people though. You need yeah. the people that's gonna like tell him you. Him like, and my older brother would be like, much. man, you this shit weak as hell, whole ass nigga. Like they won't even say it's just weak. They gotta call you a. They gotta call you a name with it too. Like. <laughs> Very good. That's when you know they mean it though. They For mean sure. that shit. Whole ass nigga, that shit weak. Like, damn. All right, bet. <laughs> it can't just be weak, nigga. I gotta be a whole ass like, nigga on top of that. Like. <laughs> work on your shit, nigga. For sure. For sure. Cause I ain't cried that nigga. Like man, she doing this. Man, he's like a bitch. Like. Damn. But you you, need not, you need people that's no. like that because if I go in the studio, right? No. Let's say I got a song where my lyrics is dope as fuck, mm -hmm. my cadence is dope as fuck, but I'm just not hitting it how I'm supposed to. Mm -hmm. I need the person in the room that's going to tell me, Stop do that it. shit again. Yeah, for Do sure. it again. You need to do this. I don't need the person in the room that's... Yeah, but you also oh need that God, person in the room so, that's going to tell you, you know, why you should do it again. That would just be Exactly. Like, oh, you know, yeah. Most definitely. Yeah, man. Tell me why. And yeah. once I hear it, we'll, we'll go through the back and forth, but... You got to be comfortable to speak your truth because your ears are just as important as mine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're going to pause and beat this goddamn net. <laughs> it's, it's coming for me. Yeah, it's, it's coming okay. for me. It's on, it's on your head. Hey, it's uh, coming for me, for sure. Now, um, with the with the music, you uh, you dropped your first single, what, 2020, right? Was it tonight? Yes, yeah. 2020. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, is that... Like, was you ever serious about music prior to that, or like it was? That's all... my first time in the studio. First time. First time, yeah. literally one day. Uh, got that boom, <laughs> and for me, when I hear it, I hear it. Okay. Like, um, I love my music, mm. but now I know how to play with a song. Yeah, I know yeah. how to play with a beat. I know how to play with the lyrics that I've written to that beat and not be so. This is what I wrote. Mm. This is how I gotta go. Yeah, for sure. But first time in the studio, yeah, yeah. um, upstairs at yeah. Silent Riot with Quest McCody, okay. um, and it was, it was. Yeah, you was in a real studio. Yeah, yeah I you, started off yeah, like I told you. Yeah. It was, it was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, what, what's some things that you need in your studio sessions? Like you gotta have, like. I gotta have some liquor. Okay. Like, I can write without it. I can sing without yeah. it. But because of where I'm coming from with my music it just kind of set me in the zone um mm -hmm. like i said i got anxiety you feel me so it kind of just gives me that it could be a shot mm -hmm. it give me a, a chill yeah. um what's the what's that go-to drink uh, go like, casamigos casamigos, casamigos. <laughs> i can't but it's casamigos it's took over for, Paramount. yeah it, it took over and that's what it did for me like i probably i used to drink for sure yeah. for sure you from what side yeah. Yeah, see, yeah. <laughs> West Side. <laughs> Charles, hey, that's a West yeah, Side drink for sure. For sure. For sure. But then Casamigos, just, I try other shit, but yeah. Casamigos that's is just mine. That's, that's I ain't my gonna lie, head. it's smooth. It's smooth. You feel I, me? It don't do too it. much. Yeah. And I just be vibing. Yeah. You gotta have a blue light. Okay. Gotta, gotta have a blue light. Yeah. Um, If it's not a blue light, then at least the lights gotta be off and just a little dim light. I need mm -hmm. a vibe. Okay. Um, And other than that, mm -hmm. just a room. I'm big on energy. Yeah. Even if it's two people, three people, 15 people, I'm very big on energy. The energy got to be positive and light. Like, yeah. uh, if it's, I don't like nothing, nothing other than that. No, for sure, for sure. Now, you dropped the EP last year. Yes. Five songs, right? Yeah. Gardenia. Yeah. yeah, Gar yeah. Gardena. Gardena. A lot, a lot of people get okay. the Nina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. it's Gardena, Gardena. You know, so you're about to get my skills all <laughs> off. Like, this is getting really no, good. Yeah, I gotta, <laughs> unfortunately, I got to correct you. I no, got no, to. correct me, please, Gardena. <laughs> Uh, what was uh, people' reaction to the project, and um, did you feel like you got the love? It got the love it deserved. It's been like almost a year. So oh, it's been a year. I'm gonna do first question. People' reactions. Okay. The reaction was 
everything I needed at that time. Okay. Like, it was, it's my first project. You mm-hmm. feel me? All people heard was tonight. And technically, a lot of people didn't hear tonight yeah. because of the way that I promoted it, the way that I marketed it. A lot of people that knew I could sing didn't hear it. Mm-hmm. So, Gardena was just like me stepping out and just showing that I can I can make some shit. No, like, sure. I, not only sing, but I can create music that has meaning like that first track statement with nina simone at the top like i I did that for a reason like as artists we are the voice Mm -hmm. like again with all this shit going on it's very important that you use your voice if you have one whether it's five people listening 10 or 20 like so that was that was me showing my voice of of just shit for sure for sure now what was the uh do you feel like you got the love it deserve it? You know, you know, it's been a short time and stuff like that. You know, sometimes you gotta live with it. You feel like you uh, got, got the love it deserve, or it's still you still. I building do on feel it. like it got the love it deserve. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that if I release it now, yeah, probably get more just because that was when I first first started. Mm-hmm. But that's also what got me to where I am now. For sure. Like um, me being able to go on New Music Mondays and show BJ um, a vibe. That moment right there mm-hmm. was dope for me because my friend hit me up. She was like. DJ BJ about to go live. I had been trying for like three weeks trying to catch his live and yeah. it just wasn't happening. Been missing, yeah. And he put me on that bitch. Yeah. And ever since then, uh Renzo mixed it. I work with him now currently. Yeah. Um he my engineer as well. Yeah. It just provided me connections. Oh, that sure. provided my E P gave me a, a confidence, you know, oh, in myself sure. to that, just start. That connecting. live got you on the best podcast. Out, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's how I you. Exactly. Like, oh, okay, she exactly. Dope. She dope. Not for real. Get and I it. always, I always think back to the fact that New Music Monday yeah. is where I know that a big part of my fan base came from. For sure. No, for sure. For sure. What's the one track that you feel should be on everybody and everybody rotation, everybody playlist? For me, is uh, is Love with Me. Everybody says that. Yeah, that's, my, that's, that's, my shit. Shit. that's my most listened to song still to this day. Love with me. Yeah. Does numbers every single week as if I just dropped that. For bitch. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but my number one probably will be Pull Up with Pull Tears up. the Dine. I'm okay. not gonna hold you. I think that that song is the most underrated. Mm-hmm. But if you listen to what I'm saying and what yeah. he's saying, like, on the track and the way we just rode that bitch, it's really crazy. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Because I had listed, because I had, matter of fact, right when I had listed, that's when I hit you in the DM and told you mm-hmm. it was dope. Because I'm like, all right, before I ask her, come on his for real, let me listen to the music. Got to. You know what I'm saying? Got to. So that's why I went, I was at work, I worked midnights and stuff. I just, I'm like, oh, shit, she can sing for real. Like, shit's straight. That's why I had to let you know, get you on the show. That's when you, you know, so I know you work during the week, so we had to make a Sunday for you, whatever. Thank you, thank you. I you know appreciate it. Lions begin their ass kicked, so I'm like, fuck it, I don't want to watch them niggas right now. <laughs> if you picked the Lions over me. <laughs> At first I did. We would have we <laughs> had to talk. We would have had to talk for sure, for sure. I, I picked the Lions over everybody. I'll be hurt every time, too. And basically <laughs> every crying, time. Crying. I went to the Pistons game last night. I peeped. I seen that. That's why I'm like, all right, shit. That was good. It Listen. Was, my man was giving them work, too, Tatum. I got some shit to say. What up? I ain't been to a Pistons game in a long time. Yeah. I love my city. I love my team. Yeah. But they could have won. They could have won for they sure. They could have won. But their main dude was on. He was hurt. It don't matter. Was hurt. Sitting there, yeah. I seen, bro, if they had a gave a fuck the third and fourth quarter, they would have yeah. been straight. But yeah. they didn't care no more. Like, um, sure. Sure, sure. I don't know their names, but. Yeah, I'm about to say, um, you fuck with basketball? Like, I do fuck with basketball okay. as a whole. So mm-hmm. when I watch it, I understand. I know sure. what's going on. Yeah. The refs was f- was calling some hoe-ass fouls the whole night. Yeah. The whole night, but they still, they didn't yeah. try hard enough. They was only down 10 points. Let's try hard. The last yeah. six minutes, they ain't do shit. See, yeah, you, you singing. Got goddamn, got your head on right. Watching basketball. Hey, my brother, hey, hey Mel, nigga, hey, she, she single, girl. <laughs> I am, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, we got this thing we call Talk About the Bars. I take a piece of a song or whatever, and then we talk about it. Okay. All right. So, uh, on a vibe, you said, uh, give your heart to your dreams. What you talk, talk to me about that. Like, like how, because I, I can be, niggas got dreams, but don't put their heart into it, so it really can't be a dream if niggas ain't fucking with it. Like, no, facts. But that bar means. The same energy that we give a relationship, mm-hmm. the same energy, whether it's you trying to fuck, yeah. whether it's you really trying to find love from a man's standpoint, mm-hmm. or as a female, whether you just want to feel good, yeah. or you're really trying to find that same energy that you give to that, give that to something that you give a fuck about that don't have to do with that. Mm-hmm. And I feel like if people did that more often, 
More for dreams sure. to come true. Yeah, for you sure, feel me? For sure. <laughs> it's only funny saying these things without singing it, because you know, of course, I do rap. What's on uh, perfect? Uh huh. Hum perfect. Okay. Perfect, yep. Yeah. Hum perfect. Hum perfect. Yeah. Gotta, <laughs> gotta, gotta put the hum. Yeah. Gotta put the Even hum. if it's really wrong, it's it's really feeling kind of right. So what what situation you ever been in that you know it like this shit wrong? I should not be messing with this nigga Dante. But <laughs> like, cause it been plenty of times we ain't mess. Me and him both probably ain't mess with some chicks that we yeah, like. No, just we like I really should. Even be when doing you making this. a drive over here, like, no, I should not be doing this shit. Nah, for real, fine. <laughs> you you, you uh, a couple times in your life you gonna have that shit. Yeah, so, but yeah. that line specifically means right place, wrong time. Mm -hmm. You feel me? For like sure. maybe we can work out. But we both know this not the right time. Right, this moment, yeah. So, but we like what we have so much mm -hmm. that yeah, yeah, is it like fuck it? Yeah, you know, fuck, like we ride out. Yeah. exactly. Yeah, because you made that drive like, why the fuck, man? Why did I? Why am I here? Yeah. But yeah. for a female, it's more so. Let's say you don't know that you, or you know you really shouldn't probably be fucking with a nigga. Like, yeah. it's right, right place, wrong time. For sure. Why am I letting you make me feel good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Like, I probably shouldn't be yeah. letting you be my sure. my joy right now for because, sure. nigga, we're not supposed to be doing yeah, this. Yeah, no, for sure. He that much like, damn, why, Keisha? But she do do that one thing. So. You know, <laughs> it's, like, it's like, damn, I don't really want to go look for it nowhere else. So. That, and that'd be another thing, too, man, with just the way niggas acting, the way chicks acting, like, exactly. there's some crazy people out here. No, really. So when you get comfortable with one, you like, you know, we ain't together, but... Then after COVID, like, yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of niggas and bitches stayed with their person because yeah. of COVID. Like, niggas crazy. <laughs> and, but COVID also let you know if you really rocking with this person. No, nah, I did. Because you was, you was locked up. Yeah. So was I locked think up. my household helped me. I had, like, three different age groups. I had I had my wife. I had my son who was 14 at the time. I had my mm -hmm. son who was, like, four. So oh, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? That's fine. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, man, I don't want to talk to you. Like, let me go ahead and talk to this nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and COVID actually... Help me decide that I can't ever take an edible again in my life. That was your first time? Uh, that was my first time taking an edible for real. Like taking a nice And you was piece. at home? Yeah, and I went crazy. I went like, crazy. Like, what's went crazy? Shit, I couldn't stop walking. I couldn't stop pacing. What? I was uh put my I had my head in the freezer. I thought I was going to die. I was going to make a <laughs> Facebook status telling anybody I love them. It's over. Wait, was this a hood edible or a dispensary edible? It was a hood edible. See? It was hood one There's day. no, there's no fucking like, line. Yeah. You don't know what the fuck you taking. Every time I sat down, I was like, I was antsy. I called this nigga and my brother crying almost. <laughs> like, I'm like, dog, I just want to be right. Like, that is so funny. My fucking pinky toe was high. Then my son, he he scaring me. He like four, like he bouncing around. So that shit started so scaring just, me. So just, you're just antsy. Yeah. Antsy as fuck. I thought I was going to die. It's like, okay. I don't like edibles either. They don't do that to me. <laughs> yeah. They don't do that. Um... They just make me too chill and horny. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like, I, I didn't get that part. I was too yeah, scared. I, I, I was too scared. I, I'm, I'm going to just be honest, you feel yeah. me? They and But I don't like that. Like, yeah. why? Yeah, Edibles sure. are not supposed to do that. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm not... <laughs> like, nah, I'm straight. Yeah, so I put honey back in your head. You feel me? Like, I don't like... No. I, nah, that's not what happened. I don't bullshit with you. No. Nah. <laughs> now, um, on Love With Me, you said uh, you always get this love. If you always give me loyalty and keep it real with me, so that's what you you, you just need a nigga who gonna be real with you and you gonna you that's gonna it. All, you gonna always be one hundred percent faithful. Uh, well, faithful, yes. Okay. But the, just because you keep it real with me, don't mean that I'ma stay. Yeah. But give me the opportunity to decide if I'ma stay. Like mm -hmm. I respect, but that means that you got me for life. If you for need sure. me, you yeah. feel me, you can call me. Okay. As long as you honest and you real about your shit, yeah. like you'll never have no bad love for okay. me. Okay. Okay. Cool. So even if y'all ain't together no more, you still. You still one hundred. Period. Now, of course, if I'm some, if I'm in a relationship and I can't, yeah. I'm gonna respect that. But sure. you feel me? When you so, relationship, uh, can you be? Can you? Can you um be cool with your ex in a new relationship? Is that okay? We gotta talk about the time <laughs> frames of an ex. Yeah, it's very important in the time frames in the way that y'all ended and how long y'all was together. Okay. Long, like if you're talking about like, oh, uh, I was with somebody for like three years yeah. and I move on, I can't. Y'all can't be friends. Yeah, for sure. I wouldn't say friends. Like, y'all yeah. could be cordial. Y'all could be cool. Mm. But ain't no what you doing. Yeah, for sure. You feel yeah. me? Like, we ain't doing that. We ain't drinking all that good shit. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Ain't no, yeah. Brunch and shit. No, nah, yeah. we ain't doing all that. Now, also, on Love Me, you said, um, I always feed you good cornbread and collard greens. What, what, what you cooking for Deontay on that first day? You really want to impress him and shit? 
Um, you want you you throwing down? Cause I see you, I seen a um, couple of little posts like oh shit she could throw down. No, I could cook for real, for real. Yeah. Um, honestly, when I was in high school, I was in culinary, and I worked in a school restaurant. So, like, food is my that's my next passion. Like, mm-hmm. if my voice completely went out, knock on wood, and yeah. I can never sing again, I'm opening a yeah. restaurant. Cause that sure. bitch gonna bring yeah. me money. I I, oh, yeah. I probably eventually will incorporate music into my life. Mm-hmm. Just trying to make music full time. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. What's, that, what's, what's that go to meal? What's that meal that's gonna keep go me? Go to that's gonna make them come back tomorrow. My shrimp and girls definitely gonna make a nigga come back. If I'm you check my page. Yeah, yeah, I seen that John. That's what if I'm gonna say. If you check say. my page, the, the shrimp and gr- this yeah. definitely gonna make you come back. For but sure. if I'm not gonna pick what you know I can already make, yeah. I probably my chicken is really good. Yeah, chicken breast, chicken wings. Chicken wings, garlic parmesan. Mm. Okay, okay, you that doing something? That shit, something? that shit really bang. Yeah, you yeah. talking, John? You talking? And I make some good carrots. You feel yeah. me? Like people, oh, I don't like carrots. Yeah. Every time I make. Oh, you my, put a little yeah. bit of something to it, huh? Little something, something. You got, <laughs> you got to candy them. You Hell feel yeah, me? You got to yeah. candy the carrots for the people that don't for like sure. the you carrots. You ain't just putting salt in that motherfucker. Like, no, go. I can't Corn. do that. Uh-uh. Carrots, nigga, from the can. <laughs> 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 Not the can. I need no canned carrots. Uh, you know, you can vegetables. That tastes like it tastes like baby food. I eat canned vegetables. Shit, green beans. And get them, That's different. Them glory greens. Carrots though. <laughs> Carrots. Yeah, fuck yeah. No, I need you to not. And I make you think I'm doing something. I give me a bag of them. Uh, the cut uh, chicken already. The little grilled chicken with the can. <laughs> Throw carrots in there. Don't get them your secret. Little soy sauce. Voila. Oh, you just made a whole stir fry. For sure. Hell a yeah. whole stir fry. Little bootleg stir fry. Yes, love Man. it. Not with the carrots, though. Yeah. <laughs> gotta, gotta drop them. Now, the last one on Dear You, you said, but it just ain't you. You got me doing things I wouldn't I wouldn't do. When Have somebody ever had you, like, getting out your little, you know, saying, just had you just not being you. Yeah. yeah. That song is is definitely very um specific. Okay, okay. Um. That just goes back to being blinded by love. You feel me? Like, yeah. love will really make you do shit that you wouldn't normally no, sure. do. No, hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, hell like, yeah. and it wasn't nothing. I didn't discredit you. Yeah, have you climbing apartments? Yeah. Yeah, how you just... <laughs> well, all right, come on. Give me, a, give me a story that you get. Not the whole story, but give me something that you did that was like, wow. Like I said, I was... I, my, me and my son and mom broke up, and I was trying to climb the apartment building because I thought she was in that mud with somebody. It wasn't like... It was so, a townhouse. <laughs> Craziest thing. Okay, pick one or two. Just gonna let me know which one I should give you. What? You say one or two. Pick a number. Get, uh, two. Okay, so. <laughs> um. All right, not that one. I'll do this one. <laughs> no, I'm gonna do one. No, I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do one. So, <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get out of the house. Okay. And and not get out. I was sincerely just going somewhere. Yeah. Like, all right, I'm about to go. And that person didn't want me to leave. Mm-hmm. And I was trying to get from my room to mm-hmm. the door. Mm-hmm. And they closed the door on me. For sure. And, like, I'm an Aquarius, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, so, yeah. like, that's, we that's be chilling. Yeah. <laughs> we be chilling, but once I feel like you pose a threat on me or you trying to pull my gangster, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you think I'm about to sit on the bed? Yeah. Just, you just think I'm about to just be like, like, I'm sorry, like, I'm going to stay home? Like, no, that's not what's happening. So, Bad. I tried to get out the door and they gave me a problem. Yeah. Like, we ain't fight, but they gave me a problem, you yeah, feel me? for sure. And <laughs> I just had to haul up on the wall a little bit and do a little choke, like, yeah. Chill. Yeah, look. You feel me? Like <laughs> choke move, huh? I'm about to go. Yeah. I will be back. Yeah. See, that's always bad. Cause then when you when you leave out like that, that's when you go in there. <laughs> like that's, what's what's happening? Man. So so it definitely and that's when I knew I had to go. Yeah, no, I gotta sure. go. Sure. Because you shouldn't even make me you, feel you, like that. Yeah, you bounce off the wall trying to do a whole rival. <laughs> like what? Because had had you tried to respond, we would have yeah. had a bigger problem. You feel me? God so. damn! You yeah, have, I'm looking at her bounce off the wall right now, like <laughs> Spider Man. That was like, like. <laughs> dog. I'm trying to tell you, I I left and called hey. my best friend, like best friend. I gotta go. I got a scar on my chest right now, not because of go. me, just because man, just crazy shit, man, just. Love. Niggas try to punch you, you, you get out the way, you, you know what I'm saying? I never had a woman. I be, hey, I shake. I shake her real quick. Nigga got the scratch. Like, Said, man, wake her on. up a little bit. Like, come on, just calm down, please. 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 I ain't got ashtrays thrown at me. Like, that's what I'm glad. Like, 
person I'm with now, nah, ain't, ain't no physical, ain't none of that stuff. Yes, like, please I love don't, that for you. Please don't jump on me. I like, love that. Please, because I don't want, like I said, I'm doing full sprint. Like, damn, this nigga's just running. Like, and especially, <laughs> I ain't like, to go to jail. Nigga you running. know, we in Detroit, like, <laughs> you know, just interacting with other people from other places, like, sure. as women, the Detroit women, we definitely yeah. are very much, um, I'm not going to say we, some are very aggressive. Yeah, you feel no, me? Sure. And I feel like a lot of it got to do because a lot of trauma not spoke on or mm-hmm. shit that niggas done did that made them how they, how they is with everybody. Mm-hmm. But we a little aggressive. Yeah. Like Hell sometimes yeah. we got chill a no, little for bit. For sure, for sure. <laughs> I tell my, my son, like he, he dating a chick and stuff like that. I, you, know, you got to make sure like niggas, like you know signs of craziness. If you see craziness, get away from craziness. Period. Because they're going to have you go do some off the, off the wall Top rope, elbow, <laughs> and stone cold stunner shit like not Man. top rope. Now uh, you said you were single a little something, something. So you know, what I'm saying we got transition to that. Okay, let's me? transition. So, if you want to take a sip of water, or something? Take a sip of water. Okay. If not, then shit, do you? Shout out Tuesday, the singing edition. Period. We got Tori Scott in the building. <laughs> Gary Singo, she's the. She the first person, man, fuck that. She the first person to get her single on the show and shit, man. No rapping. No rapping. You're way too beautiful, girl. That's why it'll never work. You'll have me suicidal. Suicidal when you say it's over. Damn all these beautiful girls. They only want to do you dirt They'll have you Suicidal Suicidal when you say it's over See it started at the park Used to chill after dark When you took my heart That's when we fell apart Cause we both thought that love lasts forever seems very defined you're one of a kind you mash up my mind you ought to get declined oh lord my baby is driving me crazy you're way too beautiful That's why it'll never work You'll have me Suicidal Suicidal when you say it's over And and, and ladies and gentlemen That was Tori Goddamn Sky Thank you, thank you, thank you Sing her ass off (laughs) Thank you, thank you, thank you And she can really sing and shit, man You like that? And what was uh, a tough one or oh, what's worse to go through somebody be on the show they can't sing or they can't rap how do you respond yeah I don't know like we have people who couldn't <laughs> rap and we just look at each other like damn like damn cuz <laughs> <laughs> but no, no thank you no thank but you can you. sing for real so that's thank why I, you. I was listening to your covers like yeah 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 shit man that's what's I up tries, I tries thank you that's yep. actually um I have a studio cover of that yeah um we did we did technically two takes but mm. the first take was cut short so for me this was one take Straight through. I'm mm-hmm. working on the visual now, me, and it's. Let me ask you: Have a man ever been like, you know, what I'm saying, y'all, like, y'all, y'all doing your thing, y'all in the bedroom and stuff? He like, girl, sing for me. Honestly, not in the bed. Okay, okay, okay not in okay. the bed, but <laughs> I do. I'm very aware of the fact that it's not just because I sing, but what I sing and how mm-hmm. I sing and my tone. Like I'm very aware that it's a part of my sexual attraction. For sure, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I mean, it do make you feel a little tingly and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I love it. <laughs> but that's what I'm supposed to do. You yeah, know what I mean? I'm doing sure. my job then. For sure. <laughs> now it's two things I want to touch on. I don't want to spend too much, you know, what I'm saying I keep you here a long time, mm-hmm. and, you know. But uh, let's let's talk about let's talk about the positive. One. Let's talk about the podcast. The podcast. Let's you talk had, about you, it. You had podcast. Yeah. Last episode was August of 2020, a long time ago. <laughs> Well, what's in the podcast again? Uh, melanin, um, melanin. I'm sorry, quality melanin. Quality melanin. You, yes. two homegirls, whatever. I don't know if y'all are still friends or not. <laughs> that, that, see, that's like, <laughs> so funny. Like, see, that's how I usually podcast. I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, um, I'm gonna say. We are, we are well, let me say this. I I am in regards to some. Okay. You sure. feel me? Yeah. Um, 
but I'm not in regards to others. Okay. And that's just sometimes you have to understand when to take a step back. Mm -hmm. And I think that as <clears throat> friends, we both understood that maybe we was going through something at the same time and couldn't be there for each other. Yeah, for sure. And some shit you just got to wipe your hands yeah. clean with. No, Ain't for really sure. nothing to do alone. Sure. You feel me? And on podcasts, that's, that's always tricky when you're doing it with other people because you want other people's time, schedule. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I really, that, that, I don't think the podcast was a part of it. Okay. I don't think the podcast was a part of it. I just think that, again, we was in just in two different seasons of our life. For where, sure. And that's okay. Yeah. You ever think about coming back and, you know, it's definitely coming back. Yeah. That's not a question. Dolo? Quality melanin. Definitely Dolo. Okay, definitely okay, okay. Dolo. Um, I know more of myself now. Like, I was a podcast host before I was my artist self. You no, feel for me? Sure. So, yeah, was. it's like, now that I am more in the industry, I do understand, again, just more about myself as a creative, mm -hmm. more than anything. I'm yeah. ready to come back. I'm ready yeah, to put yeah. my own <coughs> little twist on it. Not Maybe collab. You yeah, feel you know, me? Hey, so, man, you want to give me a call? You know, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, my schedule free. I work being nice. <laughs> <laughs> Period. You know what I'm saying? I come and, and, and mess with you and stuff like that. Now, um, so it would be like some old weekly topics. It would be interviews or oh, yeah. bit, uh, everything. I think it's going to be a mix of everything. I definitely want to incorporate music into it this time. Mm -hmm. um, definitely still holding down for Black Lives Matter. You feel me? For sure. Speaking to our brothers and our sisters. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, for sure. and, and I don't. I don't want it to be too planned out. Mm -hmm. I kind of wanted to just go with the flow yeah. and just like I said, I had guests and stuff. But even when I don't, mm -hmm. just a good time. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk to you about, you know, because I feel like maybe a little personal and stuff like that. I want to leave with it, but uh, your weight loss journey. Um, I read that it took you a little time to fall into a routine. Um, there was times that you, you know, saying hated your body and stuff like that, like. And you, I know you was a, a little small, a little little stick figure, I guess, before you had the baby. Man, and that I baby was, weight hit you like I ah! was a size zero. Yeah, like literally was mm -hmm. a size zero. I probably was like a three by yeah. the time I was maybe having my son. Yeah. But I always been small, always been little. Like mm -hmm. I was just, I always been Tory with the good boobs and mm -hmm. just skinny as hell. Like <laughs> that's always been me. <laughs> so having. And getting pregnant mm. was like, okay, I'm pregnant. At the moment, like I said, I was having yeah. a good-ass pregnancy. Sure. I was feeling myself. I was still cute. Yeah. But then after I had him, I'm like, damn. <laughs> like, damn. Yeah. So I was probably, I was 120 before I had my son. Mm. And after I had him, I was 185. Okay. So, like, again, that's the yeah. big jump for me. No, I was for sure. spending so much time trying to fit pants that didn't fit me. Yeah, you just trying to force trying it. To like, I was trying to force yeah. it heavy. <laughs> and just looking not... How I should have. You for feel sure, me? Yeah. I'm not going to say that I was, because I never just embarrass myself, but yeah. I was uncomfortable with my weight so much that you could tell from my clothes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You wasn't um, accepting it, you know what I'm saying? I, yes. I wasn't. I, I was like, no, I'm a thick bitch. Yeah. I'm fat. Like, I convinced <laughs> myself that I wasn't thick, I was fat. Like, yeah. and. <laughs> <laughs> and, to go, and to go from that to that was like it was it was a bit much for me yeah, you for feel sure. me yeah. and i never seen nobody go through it yeah. i was the first person in my circle to get pregnant so yeah, yeah. it was like damn yeah. hold up, what's going on yeah yeah but, nobody even tell you like this is it this is normal you feel me you can only complain about it so long though mm. um but i think stress had a lot to do with my weight gain too that because a lot of people may think that I'm in the gym a lot. I'm really mm. not in the gym a lot. Mm. I changed my eating habits. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. I changed my stress level. Yeah. And Cause people think, gym they think is about, toning. But yeah. They think with stress, they think that you just get small. But stress can be you eating. Man, you, you know what I'm saying? Stress can fuck you up. Yeah. Like, for real, for real. No, so, fast. I think, again, like I told you, just, just through the journey that I'm in right now, mm -hmm. I think it has a lot to do with my weight loss, my glow, mm -hmm. my just, like, I'm ready. But it threw me off because I'm like, I'm, I'm looking at you talking about that, but I'm looking like, she's still a little bad. <laughs> like, like, you know what I'm saying? The, but me bigger. I know you thinking about what you Yeah, would, it's yeah, different. Yeah. And it's more so, I wouldn't say that it was more so how other people view me. It's getting it's ready. Yeah. It's putting your pants on. It's putting them shirts on. Mm. Like, if you don't like how that shit feels, yeah, yeah, you're just yeah, uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah I was kind of bad. My son said I had breasts yesterday. I'm like, nigga, shut up. I'll kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> why you got boobs, daddy? That nigga walk around with his shirt off. I'm like, yeah, I used to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> nigga doing push ups and shit like yeah. that is so funny. But no, is it is it uh is it pressure though like to have a certain look cuz like you, like you say you in this music thing you know I think that had a lot to do with it. Yeah, yeah, just, especially so, me first coming out, me not being comfortable, me like Are you putting extra pressure on yourself though like cuz No, not now. Okay. Like now and I'm 
my body is not like to somebody. Mm. I'm not an Instagram model. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. But I love my body now. I know that if and when I want to have whatever body type I want to have, mm. like I can work for it. For sure. But I am. I just wanted to come out of. Mm-hmm. I think it was more the mindset happened with the weight. For sure. It was more the mindset than anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, I mean, yeah, I do gotta. I have to get it together. Still, <laughs> <laughs> I have to get it together. Yeah, yeah. What's something you you dislike about this music shit that you gotta go through? Like, is it is it dudes trying to work with you, but really trying to get on you? Oh, that's more than dudes trying to work with me and just trying to work yeah, with me. Yeah. Like, it's that. And because I'm not one or the other, I'm not the girl that's. Oh, like nigga this, nigga that, woo woo, and I'm also not the bitch on your dick. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like it makes it harder. Like yeah. th- they either want one or the other. Um, Facts. But yeah, it's hard in this industry as a woman yeah. trying to collab with men. Yeah. Like, oh, no, for sure. it's been people where I, especially on Instagram. Oh, what's show feature price? What's show this? What's show that? Mm. As soon as I even start the conversation. Damn, like yeah. my you this, you yeah. that. Like, damn, nigga, you we can't even get in the studio yet. Man. Like, you couldn't hold that shit off just a Man. little bit. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's pretty Man. bad. I already know but, you get those yeah. good morning queen. Good morning, queen. Man, like Like, damn, you look good, girl. Like, and and don't get me wrong, <laughs> I'm also not <laughs> I'm also not one of them people that's just like, oh, like this nigga this, this nigga that. Like, yeah. it's just it don't do nothing for me. Yeah. And Can I feel met- like men need to know that, like can you mess with somebody heavy that's in the that's in that's in the music shit? Or you rather just have somebody that's that, that's not even involved? Honestly, I don't know yet. Yeah, yeah, I don't know yeah. yet. Um, I know that anybody that I'm with gotta understand what I'm going through creatively mm-hmm. right now. Like, sure. I'm committed to what I'm doing, and yeah. what I'm doing is showing me results. So, sure. it's not that don't nobody else matter, but right now is a season for me to be selfish okay. as well. Okay. So, give me some young nigga shit versus some shit you've been through. Some shit that you didn't, you don't believe now that you believed in as a youngin. Mm. Eighteen year old, you believe in this, but now you look at her like, nigga, you crazy. It could be that it. everybody could sense the genuine and authentic mm. that I have and appreciate it. Okay. That that just is how that works. Yeah. But yeah. it's not like. I have to be car- careful who I give my energy to. Like, yeah, nah, I do. can't always be bubbly, he, 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 mm-hmm. Tori. Like, some people I got to look at, like, what's up? Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, like, I got to sure. understand the difference, though. That's probably, I was very gullible yeah, you and naive. got to treat people accordingly. Yeah, got to treat accordingly. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. even still, some people have, like, Gemini tendencies. You feel me? That two-faced shit. I think, I think both of us are, are Geminis in here. Yeah, well, I'm talking to <laughs> y'all. He for sure. I, me, I don't so, know. So, y'all can't say y'all don't have two different personalities. Yeah. I don't think this nigga do. He always been straightforward. But see, me, my birthday is June 21st. So it's like some horoscopes say I'm a Gemini. Some say I'm a Cancer. So I don't know. You got to stop reading that because why are you getting different answers? That's what I just say. Sometimes I say June 21st, you a Cancer. Sometimes I say you a Gemini. So shit, I just tell people I don't know where I am. Well, <laughs> it's okay. You still a Gemini. Yeah, I guess. It's okay. But me, I don't I don't got two sounds, but I will like be like, all right, I'll fall off. Like, all right, man, but this situation, I got to fall off. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I feel it. Like, yeah. you either get one or the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, nigga, like, when I see people start to switch up, I'm like, all right, man. I, I know how I like to just, you know what I'm saying? Shit, get out the way. Right. Niggas on, niggas funny style. All right, nigga, fuck you, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Like, a lot of people don't know how to just walk away from something. Yeah, yeah. Now, we mentioned making the band earlier. Uh-huh. Give me your making the band album. You and four of the people. Ooh. Producers, singers, or rappers. Male or female. You and four of the people. Damn. The, the Tory Sky album. Tory Sky album. Yep, yep, making a band. Making style. a band edition. Yep. So I get four that don't include myself. Yep, yep. You and four other people. Producers. They local or anywhere. I, whoever you want to do it. Her definitely on there. Yeah, I love her. Damn, her love is her. definitely on there. Um, I'm a pick a producer. Mm. I'm a pick quest. Okay, got to. Got to save the home team on that one. Um, male feature. So her quest, you, two other people. Male feature, I'ma go. Damn, that's a hard one. I'm not gonna hold you. I'ma go Osaka. Okay. I'ma okay. go Osaka for I'll sure. Yeah, dude from he from here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna pick another female singer. I probably pick Brandy. Okay. See, nigga, sleep on Brandy. Y'all be arguing with I people all the time about Brandy. Brandy. Yeah. Nigga, Brandy I, my- I feel like. Shh. We we both have a similarity yeah. in like the calmness of our voice, yeah. and I feel like that on a song together with yeah. her. That last album she dropped was hard. Brandy, Man, 
Man, I will be Man. I, niggas don't be see niggas be thinking I'll be having my headphones Brandy, on. Brandy, Brandy fire. Nigga, Brandy I be listening is straight R and B in my agenda. Dog. Fuck these rappers. As you should. Man. As you should. Some of these niggas be trash. As what's, you should. What's the last good R and B album you? Or is this one nigga named Rex, Raj, Raj Rex, or Rex? Damn, damn man. Wait, gotta say it right. Gotta yeah. say it right. Wherever he is, he cold and shit, dog. <laughs> I'm gonna look his name up. Hold on, I'm gonna look okay. it up right now. Rex Life Raj. That's he, he got from here. Nope. He got the last album. It was the Blue Hour, and it, yeah, he hard. Like he be, he sometimes he miss a little singing in it. Okay. Sometimes he miss a little rap in it. I'm gonna have to listen to it's that. It's dope. I, yeah, I'll send it to you. Whatever. Um, What's the last good R&B album you listen to? Mine, cause it's almost done. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's, it's almost done. Horn, so that shit, like, that's that's my album right now. That's what For I sure. listen to. That's what I. Hell yeah. Yeah, my shit. Yeah, I can't wait. To I'm trying to tell you. Hell yeah. I got an opportunity um, a couple of days ago. Selfie Kelsey, mm-hmm. she DJed at 29 in Park, and mm-hmm. she played one of my unreleased tracks, and yeah. I got a chance to perform it at the club. And People that's driving. my single. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. my that that yeah. made me decide my single for sure. For sure, it was. Big vibes. Yeah, you know, like playing your shit. Then everybody just starting to have a conversation. Over, okay. What's that bathroom and shit like that? And niggas go well, bathroom. My song come on. <laughs> <laughs> niggas got use a bathroom now. <laughs> Period. No, that's what's up. But now, before I get to my last questions, I'm gonna say, what's your definition of success? What's success mm. like for you? My definition of success: making my son's life comfortable mm-hmm. and my life comfortable. Not really a specific lifestyle just at a point where i sincerely have what i want and can give him whatever he need Mm. that and actually people i wouldn't say i want to be famous it's not about being famous for me it's about reaching as many people as i can with my art so if that comes with being famous then i'll take it it. but if not even if nobody's seen my face and all they heard is my music Mm. like as long as many ears as i could touch would you ever be okay being a writer for somebody Oh yeah, that's 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 another bag I'm trying to hop in. Um, before anything, I always tell myself like mm. I want to write. So mm-hmm. my writing skills is so. Hell yeah, y'all need somebody to write you something. Yeah, yeah. I'm great with the hooks. Hell yeah, okay. Hell yeah, I write a little R B for you too. Like you feel me? He said he was gonna sing on this yeah, bitch. He I'm said he was. Sure. I'm gonna get down one of these days for sure, for sure, for sure. Now uh, we all get to you know saying towards the end. I got versus battle. I give you two categories. You tell me which one to win. Okay. Two people, two things, whatever. Okay. Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Mm. Definitely Christmas. All right. Fried turkey versus a ham. Honey baked ham. Honey baked ham. Yeah, you yeah, you know something. You know yeah. something. That turkey be is it dry? Is it not? We don't know. But yeah, that ham gonna yeah. slap. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> collard greens. I mean no, no I, I said collard greens. Chicken wings <laughs> <laughs> or, or chicken breasts. Wings. Okay, okay, okay. For sure wings. Usher versus Chris Brown. Woo. Ooh, you just went straight to the like, okay. Yeah, yeah got to. Ah, uh, damn. Usher voice, Chris Brown performance. Okay, okay. I can't pick. Erica I'll ba- pick Usher voice though. <laughs> Erica Badu versus Lauren Hill. Erica. Erica Badu. Yeah. Okay, give me auntie. Give me music soul child versus Anthony Hamilton. Mm. Damn. Music had to give us more. I gotta give it to Anthony. Yeah. Ah, I'm going with music. I gotta give it to Anthony. My nigga, music is all child. I probably me. should probably pick the other, yeah. but for me, Anthony. Yeah, 112 versus Jagged Edge. Damn. Mm. I'm gonna go 112. Okay, okay. Day life versus night life. Night life. My life, oh yeah, you you an idea in this mud. In the daytime, I'm a mama. So. Yeah, hell yeah. You feel me? I got shit to do. <laughs> yeah, mama worker. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, dark liquor versus white liquor. White. I used to be dark, but yeah. dark just made me sleepy. Yeah. Summertime gear versus fall gear. Fall gear. I've been in my bag. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You were first. I think you were the first lady on the show that said fall gear. Yeah. Okay, though, if you want to show, you know, show a little body off. You feel me? You like I really, I like to. Yeah. Good. Give a little. I. This is actually recently, after losing all my weight. Like this, is my first time tapping into like dressing mm-hmm. myself and even paying attention to myself as how I dress as an artist. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm having fun. Yeah, yeah. Tall dudes versus short dudes. Tall. It's hard for us tall niggas. Sorry. Man. If you give us, us, if you give us <laughs> an <laughs> option, yeah. like we're gonna pick tall. But I never have not talked to a dude because he's short. Yeah, yeah. When you talk to a dude shorter than you. 
No. God told you. Five, five. Yeah, yeah, you can't be tossing no yeah, five, three. You feel me? Like, <laughs> shorter than me is kind of pushing it. That's pushing it just a little I just bit. Think midget, this motherfucker, dog. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, like, I ain't too tall, but. Yeah. Are we talking about the holidays? You want that stiff macaroni with the cheeses all in that mud? You want that, that little, <laughs> you know, loose macaroni? Um, not too stiff though. Yeah, not like, too stiff. Make sure you add enough milk. Yeah, for you sure. Know what I mean? Like, sure. can you make it macaroni? So I have only made it twice. Okay. I particularly wouldn't say, oh yeah, I made you yeah, some macaroni. macaroni. Yeah. But I'm working on it. But anything I make is good yeah, though, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Vanilla ice cream versus chocolate ice cream. Vanilla. Oh uh, yeah, you better not have said chocolate. I don't eat chocolate, like for real, for real. Yeah. All right. Drunk sex versus sober sex. Mm. Mm. That's a hard one. Yeah. That's a hard one. I really enjoy sober sex because yeah, I can one. remember it. <laughs> like, I want to remember, like, yeah. but drunk sex is unexplainable, too. So, I'm going to just, if I had to take a shot, I'd take a shot. Okay. <laughs> now, this is going to be a little explicit, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. But you would have... Motherfucking that thing that 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 coo that coochie ate or that motherfucking ass ate. <laughs> Definitely my vagina. Okay, okay, okay. Because okay. like don't somebody, somebody some people don't get me wrong. Like ass is straight. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. But it's not like ain't nothing like a clit. You feel yeah. me? Like ass ain't the clit. Yeah. No. What's the craziest thing a dude asked you to do in the bed that you can that you can say on camera? I don't really think nothing too crazy, honestly. Okay, 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 nothing okay. too crazy. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, bad, uh, bad, bad. yeah. Nothing, nothing yeah. for real. <laughs> no. All right, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a top three. You give me. I'm gonna give you something. You give me your top three. Okay. Top three foods. Pasta. Okay. Um, mussels. And. I never heard nobody say mussels. Mussels, good as fuck. <laughs> I had some shit the other day. It changed yeah. my life. Um. <laughs> And my shrimp grits. Okay, bet, bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to get some other ones. I'm trying to tell y'all. I got y'all. I got y'all. I got y'all. I'm going to bring y'all some. Give me top three movies. Top three movies? I'm really bad on movies. Like, I know so many people that just say lines. And yeah, I've seen the movie what? like five times. Yeah. And I'll be like. Nigga, I don't know what you're talking like, about. Like, even Friday. Yeah. Like, oh, you nigga, got no airline for No, Friday. I really don't remember lines to shit, though. Like, yeah. so it's not because I don't know it. You feel me? Yeah. So, top three movies, i probably say Avatar, because I can't wait till the second one come out. Okay. That's fire. Um, I'm bad at this. Okay. Uh, none of we, my we, movies going to be shit you think. Yeah. Um, the second one probably be the longest, not the longest yard. Uh, Long kiss whole, whole nine yards. Whole okay. nine yards. Okay. Um. And third one would probably be, I don't know. Yeah, like we do, yeah, I don't really, yeah. Give me your top three childhood crush. Celebrity top crushes. Top three, I was about to say, damn. Yeah, you got to say nigga DeMario. Like, what? They don't give none of them no clout. Nigga Brent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, top three, definitely Chris Brown was one. All right. Um, Dirt went off the game. <laughs> Was one a nigga Derry D? Okay, you feel what me? they call that nigga dog? <laughs> what that nigga nickname? The coach told um, damn his nickname, bro. You should know. I you can't was... remember it, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, because uh, they, they was they was making fun of that nigga because they was the coach was calling that the new coach. And shit. I can't remember. D- do something something with D. Damn. Why are you talking? I'm trying to think of my third. Yeah, so you got Derwin Davis and this bitch, and you got I'm mad. I can't think of that nigga nickname. Dermot um, Davis and motherfucking Chris Brown. We're going to change yours to top two. Yeah, because I don't really have... I But I that's how I, I ain't never really yeah, been that... Uh, that I'm not Ding Ling. Ding Dong. Ding Dong. Ding Dong. Yeah, ding Dong. Ding what's his name? Ding Dong. What's his <laughs> name? <laughs> that was definitely Ding Dong. That shit funny. I'm going to go back and rewatch that today. Ding give, Dong. Right, give me your top three moments in life. Top three moments in life. Or top two. No, I give you three. <laughs> I give you three this time. Uh, Definitely singing for my granny. At any point in life For before sure. she passed, that's every time. Um, having my son, okay, definitely, and mm. told you how to. Damn. <laughs> And working with Quest. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Hell like yeah. that that's just that it's gonna always come full circle back to Quest. It's yeah. always. Hell yeah. Last one, give me your top three snacks. Top three snacks. Def, so it might not sound like a snack to nobody else, but it's a snack for me. What up? Olga Snackers. Okay. 
bang. Oh yeah, them I used to work if at I Olga's. catch them bitches, yeah, like them be I'm good. definitely <laughs> grabbing them for sure. Um, little season on them pizza combos. Okay, my shit. Yeah, that's dope. Baby. For I sure, that shit. I was a kid. Man, let me tell you, <laughs> they get you right it's together really quick. Okay, Man, I heard that. Though. Man, the combos. <laughs> go get some. Go get I some today. I know still sell them. Go get some today. Okay. Uh, third one would probably be Oreos. I really Oreos. like Oreos. Yeah, I love the Oreos. Shit, yeah, man. it's like, and especially when you don't eat them for so long, and then you eat oh, yeah, one, sure. you like, go crazy. What yeah. was I doing? You go crazy on the must. Yeah. All right, we already spoke about it. Give me your t- um high moment, a drunk moment, or both. A story when you were drunk, how both. I give you drunk. All right, because my high moments, I be chilling. Yeah, just don't chill. Uh, but I remember I had moved out of my mama crib, mm-hmm. and me and my roommate threw a party. Okay. And her friends came. To the pregame. Okay. And pre-game. they in there, they had Bombay. They like, hey, hey, we got to drink. I ain't yeah. never drank Bombay before. Yeah. Like, never had it. Yeah, for sure. They like, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, it's a, guy, hey, hey, you know hey, when, hey, when's hey, hey, it's a good night. It's a, hey, like, goddamn, yeah, right? Ass shaking. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the party start. All I know is we had a purple bean bag. When yeah. I tell y'all, I sat in that purple bean bag. From the moment the party started yeah. until six o'clock that morning. So you was dead. As people was like walking in, like I was up. Like if somebody said hi yeah. to me, yeah. I'm like, hey. Yeah. But I could not get up. Stuck in the I bean sat bag. there the whole night. So hold on. So uh, and it was my crib. Yeah. How, how, how much of the Bombay you was drinking? Before you got to that point that you I just probably, stuck in. I probably had like this much Bombay. Yeah. And I wasn't drinking then. Like I was yeah. only. I mean, I probably should say this. I was only 18, 19. Yeah. You, feel oh, shit, me? Good, you feel me? So it was like. <laughs> shit, I had my first drink when I was 21, 22. Really, you see? Yeah, I was responsible and shit. But, yeah. you know, oh, it don't man. work like that sometimes. Yeah, but, Bombay. I never had Bombay, though. And that's not no shit that yeah. my young ass should have been drinking, yeah. quite frankly. Yeah, so you ain't stuck, man. <laughs> I was uh, stuck. Man. Like, duh. I'm so happy I was at home. <laughs> yeah, because you. Yeah, anywhere else. It's a good thing you wasn't in the club turned up and then like that. Oh, no, I wouldn't have. No, I couldn't have did that. You ain't, had no, you ain't had no moment in the club, you just going crazy. Nah, I be chilling. Like yeah. I always been like that though. Like even when I was in high school and yeah. stuff like that, I never been. I don't really twerk in public. You yeah, feel yeah. me? Like <laughs> I say that for my nigga. Like yeah, I'm not sure. about to. No, you got to. Nah, we're not about to do all that. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You feel me? Well, shit, man. I appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you for having me. It was me. dope talking to you and shit. You know, saying so we got to our our personal beds. Almost had a tear too. You know what I'm saying? We got no, the singing. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We, we got, was about to cry. You know we got the singing, got the laughing and shit, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thank so you for having me. Yeah, I appreciate you. But uh, get people your socials where they can follow you with all that good stuff. Music. So my Instagram is Tori.sky with two Y's okay. and underscore. I think so. Mm-hmm. No underscore. Maybe underscore. Can't really think. Um, And everything is on all platforms. So I have a couple singles out in my EP Gardena. And the album is coming. Again, Tori Sky with two Y's. For sure, for sure. And follow me on Instagram because... I'm about to start dropping dope ass covers, yeah. dope visuals, good content, and look for that collab yeah. between Sky and Shot. You that's feel what, me? It's coming. Sky and Shot. It's coming. It's coming for sure. Because apparently, I'll, he's a singer yeah. and a rapper. Hell yeah! <laughs> you make me want to be the one I with. So oh, I get a little usher in that yes. Girl, you know? <laughs> I ain't. I, ain't get, I was I, about to hit you with the harmonies. We ain't yeah, gonna see, go there. I ain't get that. We ain't hmm. gonna go there. Usually, before I sing, I got hmm. All that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get that. Get my tones right. or Whatever. What you want? Uh, what you want to get people as far as some motivation and words and stuff, man? What what you want to lead people with? Um, I want to lead the people with figure out who you are mm-hmm. and stand on it and create something and a legacy for yourself. No That's matter what it is, even if it's in your small area, your people, your family, mm-hmm. or bigger than that, just this world right now mm-hmm. needs good shit. No, for sure. We need more good shit. We need more good people. We need more good energy, mm-hmm. and that's only gonna be from people changing. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you gotta yeah. stand on that. Hell yeah, I'm just, only thing I'm gonna leave the people off with is respect her gangster. She said that shit a couple times. You gotta respect, respect my your, gangster. Or she will spite me on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Choke your ass out. <laughs> Period. No, it's Shivers A by Man, Voice of Detroit Podcast MVP. This episode 140. We got the homie Tori Scott in the building. You know what I'm saying go check her music out, man. And shit, man. You know. We'll be back next time. Shit, fuck y'all. Period.